What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get Final Cut Pro 2 and Final Cut Camera on old iPads with a live multicam feature. So if you ever tried to download Final Cut Pro for iPad on older iPads, this is what you'll see. It says not compatible with this device. So even if you somehow install this on an old iPad, you'd run into this roadblock first saying that this iPad is not supported as it doesn't meet the minimum hardware requirements to use Final Cut Pro. But using these steps, we can get it running. Here's what you'll need. First, you'll need a jailbroken iPad. For Checkmate iPads, you can use Palerine to jailbreak iPadOS 17. I have a Windows tutorial and a Mac tutorial showing you guys how to do it. Those are both linked down below in the description and in the cards. If you do go the Checkmate route, here are Palerine 17 compatible iPads, the iPad 6th generation, the iPad 7th generation, the iPad Pro 12.9 inch 2nd generation, and the iPad Pro 10.5 inch, which is this iPad that I'm showing. You'll also need to be running iPad OS 17.4 or later since both Final Cut Pro 2 and Final Cut Camera require 17.4 or later to run. Go ahead and download IPA Ranger from the repo down below in the description. The developer does note here that for security reasons, your Apple ID password will not be saved locally. It will be sent directly to Apple servers. So just sign in with your Apple ID and this only gets sent to Apple servers in order to download apps. However, if you want, you can also set up a new Apple ID for this process. Once you sign in, go ahead and go over to the download tab. And then from there, we can type in the bundle ID, which is com.apple.finalcutapp to get the Final Cut for iPad app downloaded. Once you type in the bundle ID, go ahead and press download. And the cool thing is IPA Ranger will go ahead and grab the Final Cut for iPad app through the App Store and sign it with your Apple ID. So it'll be like you just grabbed it from the App Store. So this essentially is just grabbing it from the App Store, bypassing that app compatibility screen. Once it finishes downloading the IPA, go ahead and install the application. So now it says that it's successfully installed. And then from there, we can go ahead and back out and you should see Final Cut Pro on your device. You don't have to sideload it with Alt Store or Troll Store or worry about any seven day expiry windows. This does all the work for you and it just installs like a regular App Store app would. Before we open Final Cut, go ahead and download New Term from whatever package manager you use. I'm just gonna use Cilio and from there, go ahead and just install it to your device. Once you install it, go ahead and open it up and copy and paste the terminal command in the description. Press enter and then from there type in your device's root password and the default password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. After you do that, now when you try to launch Final Cut Pro, it'll load and here we go. There's no unsupported pop-up, we can go ahead and tap on continue and then from there you can see it says try monthly or try yearly. Unfortunately, Final Cut Pro for iPad is a paid subscription. However, you get the first month free with a yearly or monthly plan. It's $4.99 per month or $49 a year. But regardless, you have a month to try it out at no charge. So it'll just let me start the free trial and then from there I can use Final Cut. And now it's gonna ask if I wanna allow notifications. We'll just go ahead and press continue and allow the notifications. And now it says what's new in Final Cut Pro for iPad. And you can see live multicam is right up there. Transform your iPad into a multicam production studio by recording with up to four devices running Final Cut camera. So we can go ahead and just press continue. And from there we can get started and try the live multicam feature. So let's create a new project and I'm just gonna go ahead and name it test. And then from there we can tap continue. And under the get started menu, there is now an option to record with live multicam. And this will give you the option to hook up multiple angles with multiple different cameras. And you can switch between these four different angles within Final Cut Pro for iPad live as you're editing. So in order to make all of that work, we're gonna need to also get Final Cut Camera, and that is another application from Apple that just got released in the App Store. Final Cut Camera requires iOS 17.4 or later, so if you're sitting on 17.0 or an older iOS version for Troll Store or for Jailbreak, well, it might not be so easy to install Final Cut Camera. 
there may be some way to bypass the iOS version requirement, but for now, it has to be 17.4 or later. If someone does figure out how to bypass the iOS version requirement, I may do a follow-up video or just let you guys know down below in the description or in the comments. For me, because I'm on iPadOS 17.4.1 on this iPad, it seemed to just work and I was able to install it from the App Store. If for whatever reason you can't download it from the App Store, you can just go through the same process to download it through IPA Ranger that we went through earlier. Anyway, opening up Final Cut Camera, you could see it lets you connect to a live multicam project in Final Cut Pro. So essentially this serves as a companion app to the Final Cut Pro for iPad app. However, because this also supports iPhones, you can use this as a standalone dedicated camera app as well. So it says use live multicam to record with up to four devices at once, connect with an iPad running Final Cut Pro to get started. So we're just gonna allow Bluetooth and here's how to go through the rest of this process. Showing you on iPhone makes this a little bit easier, but it'll say Final Cut Camera would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. Make sure to allow that. Then go ahead and set up a new project with the live multicam feature. Tap on the button to the left of where it says the time and now it says connect to live multicam. This works through a Bluetooth connection, so it's just gonna ask for a pairing request between the device that has Final Cut Camera on it and Final Cut Pro for iPad. You're gonna get a prompt to allow the iPad to remotely control the camera. Just go ahead and allow that, and the iPad and the phone will connect together, and then you'll be able to see this angle will show up inside of the Final Cut Pro window on your iPad. And there it is. And it's kind of bizarre to see that I am controlling the angle directly on the phone and it's showing up on the iPad. I don't know, something about that is really, really cool. And the fact that this tech is not meant to actually work, considering this iPad is so much older than the hardware that's required, I think it's pretty cool. So I imported some test clips and I don't know if it's because of the fact that this is too old of hardware and it's freaking out, or if it's some of the way that it was recorded, but this is not showing up correctly. And if I try to actually even play it, there's some glitches here. However, when you scrub through it with that wheel, it seems to be completely fine to a certain extent. So I'm not sure what's causing that, but weird issue that I discovered. The iPad that I'm using this on is the iPad Pro 10.5 inch, which has the A10X chip. So even though I'm accustomed to using the desktop version of the app anyway, it's not necessarily something that I would like to switch to considering my Mac Studio has an M1 Max in it. I have really yet to completely delve into the actual experience with this. That raises a lot of questions for me. It would be a huge performance downgrade and I wonder if it would even actually be usable to edit an entire video. Maybe if enough people want it, I'll do a follow-up video talking about the performance on this A10X iPad and actually try to edit a full-length video. It's not gonna be easy. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.